like something out of a fairy tale, but these giant pumpkins are real. And these crazy competitors are racing them around a fountain. It's in Germany and it's pretty wacky. But is it the wackiest event ever? It's time to put it to the test as we paddle pumpkins for prizes. It's the Ludwigsburg Pumpkin Regatta. Oh, Germany, home of sausages and flashy cars. I'll tell you what else it's the home of. Hoeing out pumpkins and racing them in this lake behind us here. Yeah, but will it be wacky enough to win a golden gnome? I think it's got a pretty good chance. Well, let's go find out. Let's go. It. <laughs> Pumpkin Olympics. What better place to start my regatta training than an Olympic themed pumpkin exhibition? Which good. <laughs> I can't help feeling I'm gonna take out pumpkin gold. So is this where we're gonna be racing around tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow we'll be some lines here. Especially since event organiser Stefan has agreed to be my coach. Are these all edible? In general, they are edible, but don't taste so good. OK, so my priority in this event is paddle power. So I'm in the need of speed, pumpkin style. I want to go really fast. So what should I be doing with my oar? Yeah, so when you start, you have to do it slowly until you have to bring the boat in a, in a good flow. Yeah. If you go too fast, you will turn around and you first have to get the, the direction with slope. This all sounds pretty easy to me. Time to put the practice pumpkin to the test. Tomorrow you will sit a little bit different, your knee with your knees in the front, but now you can already try to have oh, yeah. imagination. OK. So you start slowly, I remember? Nice and slow strokes. Slowly, slowly. Slow strokes, but now and I'm getting used to it. After a while, you I'm become getting faster. getting used to it, I get but, faster. But if you become too fast, you will start to shake a lot. Check me out! Faster, faster. I'm winning! Oh, nice it and will fast. Shake. It will I'm shake. getting faster! It will shake and you will fall! Oh, oh. <laughs> It'll be a pumpkin pile-up if you paddle like that, Amber. I reckon balance is the most important skill in this event. I do that. Luckily, I'm already super flexible and graceful. It's like a mirror image. <laughs> now, this is the kind of balance expertise I'm aiming for. I wonder if I've got what it takes. That was great. How many hours do you train a day? I train three or five hours a day. Every day? Yes. And what do you think gives you good balance? Here it's hard. Yeah. And here also hard. Lots of... So strong muscles and lots of practice. Yes. I reckon I'd make a pretty good gymnast. Check this out. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe not. But perhaps Tobias' coach can give me a few more pointers. So where does balance come from? How should I balance? You always have to get your your belly flat. So just put your belly button inside. Okay. And get your butt tight, hard. Tight buttocks. <laughs> tight butt. That's it. So keep okay. your head up and look down. Okay. And now some jumps. Okay. And the arms are always really strong. Mm -hmm. Tight buttocks. Exactly. Stomach in. Beautiful. It's not that bad, <laughs> actually, for it's your first time on a beam. Yeah, could you believe it? Yeah, no. you better believe it. I think I'm ready to take this up a notch. Yeah. Okay. You have to walk and jump. Stay. Okay, you ready okay. to see the mirror image of that right now? Exactly. Tight buttocks. Pull the stomach in. Look straight ahead. I'll remember that for the regatta as well. Look exactly. ahead at where you want to go. Straight arms. Mm hmm Straight arms. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I nailed it. Balance and beam in the bag. Whatever, calm down. There won't be any gym equipment at the regatta, Gilly. There's only one way to perfect true balance in an event like this, and that's to launch the practice pumpkin! This is easy. I just need to apply some paddle power and I'm good to go. Yeah, a practice pumpkin's only gonna get you so far, Rambo. 
I've decided to check out the real deal ahead of tomorrow's contest. So, Jens, these pumpkins are massive. The biggest I've ever seen. Are these the ones we'll be racing tomorrow? Yeah, we will pick them tomorrow for the regatta. Jens Eisenman is showing me around. How do you get them so big? The important thing, you need big seeds, yeah? Mm -hmm. And what do you need in a racing pumpkin? A little bit of shape in the front, a little bit roundabout, flat at the ground, that they go good on the water. Well, I, I weigh 85 kilos, yeah? so I'm a little bigger. Yeah, I've, maybe we need a little <laughs> bit of a bigger one. Huh? I can see a real big one up there. Let's go check that okay. one out. Look at the size of that. That's the one. That is the one. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at it! Is this, has anyone got this on lay-by? No, 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 I think that's the one for you. This is mine. <laughs> this, is, this is Big Bertha. Can we just get a tractor on this? So we got the pumpkin race tomorrow, I'm not gonna lie. I'm still a little bit confused about this whole pumpkin thing. I mean, I'm big into vegetables and I'm pretty sure I've seen them all, but I just can't get my head around a pumpkin being big enough for me to be able to race in. So I've been working on my upper arm strength because I don't really normally work on my upper arm strength and that's probably my one area of weakness because I want to concentrate on speed. Um, but there's nothing left to do but a few more bicep curls, I guess. Stomach in, tight buttocks, focus ahead. That's the mantra I've been given by Nina, the gymnast. I'm just going to keep saying that over and over when I go to bed because that's what's going to help me balance tomorrow. I'm going to need that to be in the head because when the stress comes, I need to remember, focus, tight buttocks, stomach in. It's going to get me there. <laughs> it's game day and the forklifts are busy. But before the races start, competitors must carve and test drive their giant pumpkins to see who races which. There are teams of racers from as far afield as South Korea here to race in the solo and team relay event. And special delivery, Jens has sent me over an even bigger pumpkin than the one we found at the patch. Which I've got my eye on, actually. Hands off, Ember. She's mine. Oh, God. no way. This is monstrous. This is huge, guys. How's it going? How big does this thing weigh? Probably 250 to 300 kg heavy. KG? Yeah. Yes, you KG. You break a shopping trolley. So we're going to carve it open now, is that right? We open it now, yeah. Yeah, now like this, yeah. Guys, obviously we're using super sharp knives, but it's OK, cos we're under the watchful eye of the experts. Carving is hungry work. You know, you owe me a go when this baby is finished, Gilly. Oh, whatever. She tastes like sweet victory. And that's all mine. <laughs> you know, this is actually pretty fun, and we're finally nearing the bottom. Make it flat. I don't want to sit on any lumps. OK, oh. the true test. There's only one way to find out if it's going to fly. I think I'm here. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a <laughs> <laughs> well, I found one that's even better, and it didn't sink. I was just, like, floating on the water in a pumpkin. It was like Cinderella next level. Do you know what I mean? Well, I'm bailing out my pumpkin, and I haven't even started yet. Oh, ever get that sinking feeling, Gilly? Yeah, yeah, what do the stats say? Name, Amberly, a.k.a. Pumpkin Princess. Strengths, paddle power. Weaknesses. She thinks she's Cinderella. Probability of winning, 47%. And in the blue corner, name, Gilly, a.k.a. The Sinker. Strengths, balance beam training. Weaknesses, yet to stay afloat. Probability of winning, 37%. Let's start the show. Competitors race opposing sides of the fountain to a finish line on the other side. Winners of the first round face a second heat before making it to the grand final. This lady's just qualified for the next round. Can Gilly do the same? He's up next. I'm sure all my kayaking abilities are up to the scratch. And that is a pumpkin. Why am I saying kayak? It's not a kayak, it's a pumpkin. Let's not forget the fact that I'm sitting in a pumpkin. Well, my pumpkin was a sinker, but I've got high hopes for this replacement. Medium Bertha. That's the start. He's off, and what a great start. Is his secret. Stomach in, tight buttocks, focus ahead. Stomach in, tight buttocks, focus ahead. Oh, such tight buttocks. I can't believe it's working. <laughs> the sinker's opponent just doesn't seem to have the balance or the rhythm to match him. Sinker's not only fully afloat, but powering home now. He's making this event look so easy. And yes, he's done it. The sinker's through to the next round, and look at that, saluting his opponent. He's not just a winner, but 
nice as pie too. Pumpkin pie, of course. Coming second overall without time, so... I mean, yes, there's been two races, but at the moment, pretty wrapped with that. Amberly's up next in her super streamlined speed suit. Oops, clip the hedge there. Let's hope she navigates a little better than that. But on the other hand, she's scored a buoyant pumpkin carriage and reckons she's primed for speed. The question on everyone's lips, can she deliver? Just do it! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. oh it's a slow start there from the pumpkin princess. Please, it's part of my game plan. Stefan told me to start slow and steady so I won't spin my pumpkin. We've seen it now, her opponent's already past the halfway mark and heading to the home straight. Oh, look at that, the South Korean boys cheering her on. But I'll tell you what, she's going to need a miracle to turn this around. And look at that, beaten to an absolute pulp. It's over. Well and truly over. But I'll tell you what, sport fans, I love seeing this because Pumpkin Princess is sticking through it. She's keeping on paddling, and you've got to give her that. You know, it takes a lot of courage to be beaten that badly. And look at that, the crowd, they, they give her an applause, a pitting applause, but they're pretty happy that she persisted. And there she goes, she's finished now. Well done. Well done, Pumpkin Princess. Awesome. He's putting on a brave face, but having bowed out so spectacularly, all I can say is this, what goes around comes around, Ambo, and if it's you and a pumpkin, then it comes around very slowly. I found my uh, opponent for the next round. Uh, lucky enough for me, it's only last year's world champion. Pat, how are you feeling today, mate? Oh, I'm feeling very good. How'd your heat go this morning? It was, it was hard. It's hard? Yes. But I think it's... Um, I don't know. Um, um, I think I can do it a little bit better. You, you think you've got room to improve? Go faster. Yes, a little bit. I don't like to hear that. Fighting talk from ex-champion Patrick. Well, the stakes are sky high in this heat as it's the gateway to the regatta final. Patrick's looking super slick, but the sinker's got everything to play for. Let's do this. Okay, also Männer, jetzt probieren wir mal. Ready for takeoff? Yep, I think. Okay, ihr seid fertig. Fight, Charlie. Auf die Plätze. Fertig. Patrick is speeding away like a pumpkin paddling powerhouse and oh dear look at this folks the sinker's balance is off his buttocks are out his stomach's wobbling and he's definitely not focusing forward uh oh it's sinker by name and sinker by nature but he's determined to finish the race with or without the pumpkin and Patrick glides effortlessly to the finish that was not even a race was it I went about five metres, boat collapsed, tried to swim, then realised can't swim either. Embarrassed on two fronts. So disappointed. That's it, it's over. We're both out of the contest. But there's one last chance to redeem ourselves. Yeah. Team South Korea has challenged us to a showdown in the team relay race. What, as in we would have to join forces? Yeah, I know, it's pretty radical. We'd have to paddle a lap each, working together as a team. Come on, Gilly! Yeah, look, I wouldn't normally agree to doing this, but right now I'll do anything to save face. I'll go first. Let's do this, Ambo. Go, 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 go. And they're off. Gilly's paddling prowess must be peaking. It's a great start and he is still afloat. Ooh, but the South Koreans are putting up a fight. They've got a full support team behind them and they are paddling for national pride. Gilly is doing great, though. I've left it all out there, Amber. I've worked hard. It's over to you. Start slow, go steady, and find your speed. Come on, mate! Look at that. That's a seamless handover. Maybe we could actually take this. <laughs> Stomach in, tight buttocks, focus ahead. That's it. Wait! <laughs> the South Koreans are just behind. Come on, we can do this. <laughs> she did it! What a cracker of an event and a fairy tale ending. Okay, you're not Cinderella. Yeah, but we are in Pumpkin World. <laughs> Here's the thing. My and I, we're always enemies. What we found out today is when we put ourselves together... We could be friends. I'm actually going to buy us best friend bracelets. <laughs> it's a wackier-than-ever result. We haven't won any prizes, but we've learned how to work together.
as a team. Who'd have thought? But there's still the small matter of which of us won overall in today's competition. Ah, you didn't do too well in the heat, did you, Amber? Well, Stefan's judging on more than just speed. Let's see what he has to say. All right, Stefan, let's make it official. Who won out of Gilly and I? OK, so if we see the time, then Gilly was faster than you. Ah, uh, OK. He, what time was that? Uh, it was one minute and 30 seconds. And what was my time? Your time was two minutes and 30 seconds, so one minute <laughs> slower. In a normal world, you will be the fastest, but in this place, in pumpkin world, give me your hands, you are both the winner. <laughs> uh, both. Disagree. What is it with this pumpkin world thing? This camaraderie is on shaky ground. Whatever. I love pumpkin world, but how does it rate in our Wacky World Beta contest? It's time for Gold or Mold. For grossness. The pumpkins were so delicious, the competitors were eating them, so it's a low three. For originality, the giant vegetable boats were magical, so it's a nine! For laughter, submerged pumpkins are hilarious <laughs> if you're not in one. Seven. And for difficulty, there's a reason why boats aren't round. It's an eight. It's good! Oh. <laughs> it's lap of the feet time, but in pumpkin fairy tale world, Everyone's a winner, so let's just peg pumpkin at each other. Oh. I love pumpkin world! That's it, the friendship is officially off. Oh.